What is up guys, how's it going? I've been absent from my channel now for months, but we're back with a little series about dogs. <laughs> The best kind of series. The best me. kind of series. So we have been um, following the, a, a group of people for a while now called Street Hearts Bulgaria and the Wild at Heart Foundation. Street Hearts Bulgaria is a dog rescue shelter in Bulgaria uh, run by two, pe two English couple, uh, run by an English couple, um, Emma and Anthony. And the Wild at Heart Foundation is a foundation um, set up to help rehome stray dogs from Europe to forever homes in the UK. As Al's alluded to, we have got our eye on a little pup who we have reserved basically as part of the process. <laughs> Look how excited. Anthony's driven over with the van that has the 20 dogs in it. It's gonna be, gonna be rehomed. And we kind of just wanted to go and A, help raise awareness by obviously filming it but also to meet anthony to see the pro like i was just excited mm. to like see the dogs and see them get rehomed even though it's not us this time around so we're in the car now on our way to meet the guys at street heart bulgarian world at heart foundation we're not collecting a puppy just to make it clear we may not have reserved anyway. one but unfortunately the situation over there is so bad in Bulgaria that they've got 100 dogs in their shelter, which is their max capacity. They need to get the dogs that do have homes over to the UK so that they can allow 20 more dogs to join. So by adopting a dog, you're not only sa saving the dog that you're adopting, but you're saving another dog that you're making space for. It's run by a lovely couple called Anthony and Emma. They're from Yorkshire, and they, which is where Millie's from, and they've headed over to Bulgaria to start up this incredible shelter where they're doing a fantastic job at rescuing all these pups. And as, as Millie said, they've got full capacity at the moment of 100 pups. Um, and they're looking to try and get another bus so that they can then bring over 40 dogs a month um, into their forever homes through amazing people in the UK that are adopting them, which then opens up another 40 spaces to, for them to rescue more dogs and, um, and save some more little puppy lives. We're heading to uh, Chobham, Cobham Services to go and meet the guys. I think it's Chobham, I don't know. <laughs> Something Services to go and meet the guys and we're buzzing. So see you there. Stop with that face, I hate it when you do that. So guys, we've got Alison and her lovely daughter. What's your name? Daisy. And they've just adopted this beautiful girl. Um, how are you feeling at the moment? Are you? Happy. Yeah. We've been waiting a long time. We, um, we reserved her in April. So wow. Because she was teeny tiny when they found her. So we've waited for her to grow up and be well, old enough and well enough to come. So amazing. And and how is it? Is it due to COVID that it was? Um, she was tiny, so she couldn't. Uh. They, they have to neuter and rabies next week. They can't do that until they're about four months. So. Wow. So, and then, then they didn't bring anyone in August, so we just had to wait that extra month. So that's fine. We're all ready for her. What an exciting day. Thank you. I'm going to take her home to meet the cats. Yeah. So oh. It's really exciting afternoon. So Amazing. 
mistletoe and cracker wow. which is for Holly. Oh, so it was, it was meant to be. Amazing. Well, best of luck with your day, and it was lovely to meet you. Thank you for spending the time to chat. <laughs> She's wrapping it up. <laughs> so I'm with Anthony. Um, what what would you call yourself? Your founder of Street Hearts BG, co-founder. Yeah. We gotta yeah. be careful here because Emma will be watching. Yeah, and we've got to be. Emma, just, Emma's the boss. Uh, let me just get that clear. Right now. <laughs> Emma's the boss. I do whatever says. <laughs> Not always correctly, but I try my best. So yeah, we're the founders, I would just, I would say. Founders um, of Street Hearts BG. It, it evolved from a neutral program into what we do today. And how long have you been going now? Just over four years. Four wow. years from March of this year. And have you always been rehoming dogs for those over four years? Uh, initially, no. We started a neutral release campaign in the area, but we quickly realised that actually neutral release doesn't work in Bulgaria sure. because the public don't want dogs on the street. Wow. So 80 to 90% of the dogs that we initially rehomed have just disappeared. Blimey. And that could be poisoned, shot, misplaced, taken to new areas, who knows. And surprisingly enough, we've actually just found a dog now that we did release four years ago and she was in uh, an area at least 60 kilometres away from where we put her. Wow. So she'd been moved back then. So they just, they just take them and drop them off there hoping that they'll never come back? Yeah, it? nobody wants them so they move them on, they move them and take the problem away out of sight, out of mind basically. That's if they're lucky enough to survive. Wow. We've had dogs shot, we've had dogs poisoned. So we quickly learned that neutral release didn't work and we needed to find rehoming sources. So, here we are, yeah. rehoming dogs. And rehoming them to the UK. And um, how how many dogs do you have over in Bulgaria? We, when I left on Wednesday, there was 108 in our shelter. Wow. So but we took 20 away, so 108 minus 20. But within two days, Emma had collected eight more. And I think there have been two more since, so that's 10. So we've, wow. we've only actually reduced our numbers by 10. But we do have a waiting list. Yeah. We could easily get up to 150 in a week. And so, so essentially, what these guys do is they, they load up this, uh, what they call the forever bus. Frankie with the forever bus. Frankie the forever bus. With 20 pups, um, and they bring them over to uh, homes in the UK that have been vetted and um, inquired into through the Wild at Heart Foundation. Um, and essentially, they've only got one bus at the moment, so they can only bring over 20 a month due to regulations and the, the channel tunnel and all those things, but we are on the search to get a second bus, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We want to, what, what are you going to call the second bus, do you know? Rene the Rescue Bus. Rene the Rescue Bus. The reason being that we've got an old girl called Rene who's been with us about two years now, she's got a very wow. sad story, and she keeps ha missing her slot on the bus because oh. historically, potentially, puppies always get the first go. Mm. So the older dogs get knocked back and Rennie keeps getting put back. So I promised, regardless, she will be the first one on the new bus when it's when it's operation. On the new bus. And then that will give these guys the opportunity to bring over 40 puppies a month, or dogs a month, and um, which will open up another 40 spaces Absolutely. in the shelter Absolutely. each month for them to keep doing what they're doing, which is amazing, neutering, so essentially sterilising dogs, but also rescuing them from just awful situations and circumstances as as you'll see from this video they're in much better place now and they've got loving families and people are just so emotional to receive these puppies and and it must be so fulfilling to give them a new home so um i mean i think millie and i are converted and we're hoping to adopt from you very soon so watch this space watch this space. i don't want to jinx it i don't want to jinx it but i don't think there's a jinx but a little inside information i think the deal's done and oh. we might be coming on the next trip <laughs> By the way, it's Nikki, the founder of Wild at Heart Foundation. I'm not sure if you can hear us over these puppies, but um, this lovely girl is Velma. Velma and Daphne, that's Velma's sister. They're Daphne. And they're off to their new home. Good job. It's so beautiful. It's very emotional. Like, I never thought. I would feel so emotional about other people getting their dogs, dogs but seeing them in real life. Okay, so nothing makes me happier. I know, I can imagine. Literally, every, every time I do this, I cry. And every time I see people yeah. adopting a dog, especially when there are thousands of these puppies being born right now, yeah. how, how precious is this to know that we've just saved 20 lives yeah. and 20 more dogs can go into the shelter in Bulgaria. So that's why we need another van. I
I know, yes. We need another van. So As we mentioned earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, check out the link in the description to donate for a new van. But um, as we mentioned, Street Hearts are trying to get another one of these, which is a special van fitted out for, um, I think they can carry 20 puppies, um, just like Velma here. Just like Velma. And um, <laughs> Nikki and Wild at Heart, is, uh, they're doing their best to get them all rehomed in the UK. How long have you been going now, Nikki? Uh, about four or five years. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So we're aiming to get 40 dogs a month over from Bulgaria with this new van that we so desperately need. Sure. And who can resist? I know, look. Come on. You can't, can't buy this. Her. You can't buy this. You can't pay, you know, people paying £8,000 for a dog. You're saving a life here. Isn't that worth it? So we bought some treats, so bought not some, just for the dogs, but for the... We've got some treats <laughs> for Anthony and Emma at Street Hearts because they've been so nice to us and we've been chatting and trying to help them out and they've been helping us out and they're from Yorkshire. So we've got them some Yorkshire tea, which I presume isn't <laughs> available in Bulgaria. <laughs> um, we've got them some ketchup. Uh, dairy milk, chocolate, other bits in there. Look how excited this I'm boy so, is. I'm so excited. <laughs> Especially after seeing every one of them. It's, yeah, it's so lovely. Um, I'll go and hand this over to Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait. He's dealing with a dog at the moment, so I'll just wait for him to... <laughs> Most people are here to receive a gift. I'm here to give a gift. <laughs> So everybody's donating things that the dogs will need. They need bedding because it gets quite cold up in the mountains in winter. So yeah, just blankets, bedding, food. food. Got some. Uh, got some chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> That's I think that one might stuff be for the Ross. I might have to uh, invest in some Moth the Ross. I don't know how to say it. It's real nice. I see online all the time. <laughs> um, and this is Street Hearts. Hearts, dog neutering and rescue. Follow them on Instagram. Oh, Facebook, follow them for the puppy content, if, if nothing want, else. Yeah, if you, Even if you don't want to adopt, follow them. If you like dogs and you just are really interested in have, feeling great every day and just feeling really warm <laughs> inside and like having a permanent smile like me, <laughs> then you've just got to follow these guys on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter because otherwise you're just missing out and I'm just getting all Okay, up. calm down. Sorry, I'm just really excited. So these vans actually have beds in which the guys sleep in on their journey over. And look at the the, the situation right now, I'll show you. Well, the seat comes forward. Wow, so the guys sleep just behind the seats. It's not very deep, do you ever fall off into the... No, thankfully not yet. <laughs> not yet. And then uh, Anthony yeah. sleeps down in there, behind that one, and then they just drive the whole way. Let me see your, your, your logo. So Nikki's got her... Uh, Street Hearts yeah, merchandise on. Look at that. Yeah. No, whoa, 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 that's not the deal. <laughs> I've got, I've got some sneakily on in here for you, but I need to show Emma. I thought we had an agreement. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Is he not to be trusted? No way. <laughs> we've got, we've got uh, Emma. Just so you know, this is the Emma at Street Hearts, who Emma and Anthony, who uh, own the the shelter and run the shelter. They're big chocolate fans, so we've got dairy milk, which I believe they don't have in Bulgaria. They don't actually. No. So Emma, this one is for you. There's one here for you. So this is missing. <laughs> when you get back, I can't believe you know who's responsible. There are rats in the van. <laughs> oh, there's lots of dogs in the van. Actually, dogs can't eat chocolate. Can they? There's rats in the van, so they don't go missing. And I've got there's a there's, there's three. So you've three, got two, three, three, three dairy milks. So you think you've just said that? Now? We'll bleep it out, we'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got some ketchup. Ketchup! <laughs> oh, also, this is very important, guys. This is, um, so, the guys have an Amazon wish list um, where they're trying to get their hands on all sorts of bits and pieces for the dog. So if you can't donate, you're just looking to buy a small thing or just looking to help them out in any way, go to their website and check out the Amazon wish list. We got the walkie-talkie, which the I want to get our own on because they look so fun. So they can be like, Communicate when they're yeah. trying to catch the dogs and Pizza, stuff. Need to catch this pup, and then Emma will be barking. Excuse me, pup. Now we have some more play. We have a very good list of the dogs here. Three eggs. We've got a small sack. We've got a nice. It's a different. Yeah. Absolutely. 
invited. Really, really, really appreciate it. No problem, no problem at all. And then, okay, so one favourite. I chose another chocolate bar. Have you oh, put yeah, it in yeah. there? Is this for everyone? For this is for you. I don't know if you've tried it, but they, we tried it for the first time in Amsterdam, and it's so good. Um, it's this is a normal one, but there is, there is, they do a salted one. When we were actually on our way back to Bulgaria, yeah, yeah. Just went three different bars for two hours. It's good, isn't it? We had a bar of this, and it just a lot of the guys that have come here today it will bring like dog food and stuff for the pups because they spend so much money each month having to feed hundreds of dogs in Bulgaria. So Nikki from Wild at Heart Foundation's loaded up her car with loads and loads of dog food, uh, blankets, towels, all that kind of thing. People have just dropped off donations like these here. This is our little bag. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing to see people coming out for such a good cause and supporting it. And to be honest, they just need more and more and more um, help because the, the problem in Bulgaria and in all of European countries is these shelters aren't well funded, they're not well looked after, they don't have the infrastructure that the UK has. And the, the dog um, issue is just out of control. Dogs are breeding and breeding and breeding and each female dog um, can produce, not individually, but through its puppies and the puppies after them and the puppies after them is 36,000 dogs from that one pup as a chain of like reproduction. Um, so these guys are neutering dogs, they're sterilizing dogs and they're making sure that the problem's just trying to get it under control and make sure that it doesn't get any worse. And things like this, um, with all these bags, is just, yeah, it's what they need. <laughs> What a day that was. Tiring, I don't know how they do it. I was knackering. Um, yeah, we got home, we've chilled the rest of the day. We've decided that we're not gonna jinx it and show you the pup we've reserved just yet. Hold tight for the next time. Um, go on, flush it. <laughs> I could just feel something was wrong. You went silent. <laughs> Look how beautiful this one's looking. Can you feel that yeah. <laughs> because we don't want to jinx it, we've got a home visit on the 1st of October. We want to pass that, we want to have everything sorted. We want it to be all happening before we show you guys. So hold tight for the next episode of this little series, I'll probably be four, um, and we'll, we'll show you more about the puppy that we've decided to reserve then and why and how and all of those things. So um, stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please go and follow uh, Wild at Heart and Street Hearts BG and we'll see you next time.